Poland is grappling with the aftermath of torrential rainfall that has unleashed widespread flooding across the nation. Cities and towns are struggling to cope with overflowing rivers and overwhelmed drainage systems. The relentless downpours have transformed streets into raging torrents, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Emergency services are working around the clock, battling to reach those stranded and provide aid to communities overwhelmed by the rising waters. The heavy rains, relentless in their intensity, began several days ago, quickly overwhelming the capacity of rivers and drainage systems. As water levels surged, streets transformed into treacherous waterways, stranding vehicles and cutting off access to homes and businesses. Images and videos shared on social media paint a stark picture of the devastation, with floodwaters engulfing cars, homes and businesses, leaving a trail of debris in their wake. The Polish government has mobilized emergency services and disaster relief agencies to respond to the crisis. Firefighters using boats and specialized equipment are working tirelessly to rescue stranded individuals and evacuate residents from flooded areas. Soldiers have also been deployed to assist with rescue efforts and provide support to overwhelmed communities. Amidst the chaos and destruction, stories of resilience and community spirit are emerging. Neighbours are helping neighbours, offering shelter, food and support to those displaced by the floods. Volunteers are working alongside emergency crews, distributing supplies and providing comfort to those affected. The nation united in the face of this natural disaster is demonstrating the true meaning of solidarity. A chilling image of a car stranded on a flooded section of the S7 highway near Biskupice has emerged as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by the escalating floodwaters. The vehicle, partially submerged and buffeted by the currents, serves as a stark visual of the power of nature unleashed. The incident has prompted urgent warnings from authorities pleading with motorists to avoid all non-essential travel and to never underestimate the power of floodwaters. The SC7 highway, a major artery in Poland's transportation network, has been particularly hard hit by the floods. Sections of the highway have been rendered impassable, forcing closures and causing significant disruption to transportation. The stranded car, captured in a photograph that has since gone viral, stands as a symbol of the chaos and disruption caused by the floods. Emergency services were quick to respond to the scene, battling treacherous conditions to reach the stranded vehicle. Using specialized equipment and boats, they were able to safely extract the occupants of the car, who were fortunate to escape without injury. The incident, however, underscores the importance of heeding warnings from authorities and avoiding travel during extreme weather events. In the wake of the incident, authorities have reiterated their pleas for motorists to exercise extreme caution and avoid driving through flooded roadways. Even seemingly shallow water can be deceptively dangerous, concealing strong currents and submerged debris that can sweep vehicles away. The message is clear. When it comes to floodwaters, it's always better to be safe than sorry. The town of Biskupice is facing the full brunt of the flooding disaster with large swathes of the town submerged beneath a sea of muddy water. Homes and businesses stand inundated, their interiors transformed into sodden wreckage. The floodwaters have forced residents to flee their homes seeking refuge in shelters or with relatives on higher ground. The once familiar streets of Biskupice are now navigable only by boat, a testament to the scale of the disaster. The floodwaters rose with alarming speed, catching many residents off guard. What began as a steady downpour quickly escalated into a deluge, overwhelming drainage systems and sending torrents of water surging through the streets. Residents described scenes of panic as the water levels rose, forcing them to make split-second decisions to evacuate their homes. The true extent of the devastation in Biskupice is still being assessed, but it is clear that the damage is extensive. Homes and businesses have been ravaged by floodwaters, leaving behind a trail of mud, debris and ruined possessions. The emotional toll on residents is immeasurable as they grapple with the loss of their homes, businesses and a sense of normalcy. As floodwaters slowly recede, the arduous task of clean-up and rebuilding will begin. The road to recovery for Biskupice will be long and challenging, requiring a concerted effort from residents, authorities and aid organisations. The spirit of resilience, evident in the face of this disaster, 
will be crucial in the days, weeks and months ahead as the community bands together to rebuild their lives and their town. The relentless rainfall has pushed emergency services in Ostro Wielkopolski to their limits, with the city inundated by over 600 emergency calls related to the flooding. Firefighters stretched thin by the sheer volume of calls are racing from one crisis to the next. The calls paint a harrowing picture of the challenges faced by residents, flooded basements, collapsed roofs and stranded individuals. Every available firefighter has been mobilized, working in grueling shifts. They are joined by volunteers and members of the armed forces. Despite their best efforts, many residents face agonizing waits for assistance. The situation remains fluid, with the rain showing little sign of abating. The city is now united in its struggle against the rising tide. Sirat School submerged classes suspended as floodwaters engulf building. The relentless floodwaters have claimed a school in Sirat's, transforming classrooms into murky pools. Once a hub of learning, the school now stands as a stark reminder of nature's fury. Classes are suspended indefinitely, leaving students and teachers in uncertainty. The floodwaters breached the school's defences, engulfing the lower floors. Classrooms are now silent, desks and chairs submerged in muddy water. Textbooks and learning materials are now casualties of the flood. The closure has disrupted the community, leaving students and teachers in limbo. Section 6. Heroes injured. Two firefighters hurt during daring rescue operations. Tragedy struck as two firefighters, responding to a desperate call for help, were injured during a daring rescue operation. The incident, a stark reminder of the risks these brave men and women face daily, has cast a shadow over the ongoing rescue efforts. Both firefighters are receiving medical attention. Their injuries are testament to their unwavering commitment to protecting their community, even in the face of extreme danger. The incident occurred as the two firefighters were attempting to reach a group of residents stranded on the upper floors of their flooded apartment building. As they navigated their boat through the treacherous currents, it capsized, throwing both men into the churning water they were quickly pulled from the water by their colleagues, but not before sustaining injuries. News of the firefighters' injuries spread quickly through the ranks of the emergency services, casting a pall over what had been a day of relentless effort and determination. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the personal sacrifices made by these men and women who put their lives on the line daily to protect others. Despite the inherent dangers, the injured firefighters' colleagues remain undeterred, their resolve strengthened by the knowledge that their comrades would want them to continue the fight. The incident, while tragic, has only served to deepen their commitment to rescuing those in need and bringing hope to a community reeling from disaster. Section 7. Medical staff scramble to protect patients as water enters wards. The relentless floodwaters have not spared the hospitals where medical staff are working tirelessly to protect their patients. As water enters the wards, doctors and nurses are doing everything in their power to ensure the safety and well-being of those under their care. In the face of rising water levels, hospital staff have been forced to evacuate patients from lower floors, moving them to higher ground to avoid the encroaching floodwaters. This has been a monumental task requiring coordination, strength and an unwavering commitment to patient care. Medical supplies and equipment essential for the treatment of patients have been hastily relocated to safer areas. The staff's quick thinking and decisive actions have been critical in minimizing the impact of the flood on the hospital's operations. The situation remains dire, with the hospital staff continuing to work under extreme conditions. Their dedication and resilience are a testament to the human spirit providing a glimmer of hope in the midst of this overwhelming disaster. Section 8. Warnings issued, assistance offered as Poland confronts flooding crisis. As Poland grapples with the ongoing flooding crisis, authorities have issued warnings to residents in affected areas, urging them to take necessary precautions and to evacuate if needed. Government agencies and humanitarian organizations are mobilizing resources to provide assistance to those in need. Efforts are underway to distribute food, water and medical supplies to the hardest hit communities, ensuring that basic needs are met. Rescue teams are working around the clock, responding to calls for help, 
and conducting search and rescue operations. Their bravery and dedication are bringing hope to those trapped by the floodwaters, showing that even in the darkest times there is light. The flooding crisis has united the country with people from all walks of life coming together to support one another. The road to recovery will be long and challenging.